Hey guys, so today's Fit Friday video is sponsored by Sam Kuma, who is the author of the Delicious Italian Vegan Recipes for Vegetarians and Raw Vegans. So as you can see, it's nighttime outside because we just made a vegetable pizza burrito, which is found in his cookbook. And the title of this cookbook does say vegetarian because I believe that if you need to substitute anything, you can add in your own things. But my recipe is going to be strict, I'm going to try to stick to strictly vegan. So in the cookbook, it's an e-cookbook. So you can get it on Kindle, you can get it on Amazon Kindle for PC, um, and any anything that would require you to have a digital copy of this book. There is no hardcover. Um, so, into my, so into my review, we have some of the titles of the foods are a little bit confusing, possibly like, not misleading completely, but you kind of wonder what it is. So the recipe I made was the vegetable pizza burrito. So when you go to the table of contents in the cookbook, you'll come up with like we have vegan Italian sauces, then it's separated into vegan Italian breakfast recipes, then vegan Italian soups, vegan Italian salads, uh, vegan Italian pasta, and then miscellaneous recipes and um, desserts. So when I was going through the list, um, one of the ones that stuck out was the vegetable pizza burrito, which Reading it, you understood what it was, but just going by the title, you kind of thought you were making a pizza. But instead, you were making kind of like a filling. Um, so that would be one critique there. Number two critique would be, it needs pictures. So you know what your food looks like before you even start to do it. Um, don't worry, this is my undershirt. Um... So, having pictures along with the recipes, I know it's kind of hard to do in an ebook, but it helps a lot. Um, so, when you see the finished product of what my vegetable pizza burrito looks like, you kind of know why there wasn't a picture for it, but at least everything else should have a picture. There's a way you can make that look nice. <laughs> It tasted good. My only thing was, um, instead of leaving it on that tortilla that you guys saw me do, I actually toasted some bread and put it on that, and it tasted great. It tastes great. I'm also going to be making a, a mocha latte breakfast quinoa. You'll see that later. Um, the one thing I couldn't find was coconut cream, so I'll add the taste test at the end of this. I'll put a taste test at the end of this, and you'll see my reaction to the soy-tastic, or soya to whipped rice cream. And yeah, but overall, all of getting both the ingredients for the mocha latte breakfast and the um, vegetable pizza burrito all came up to almost $40. So it's... A, I would say maybe $20 for each, which is still pretty cheap. I went to Whole Foods, which is, as we all know, expensive. But you can get place things at other places. My hair's a mess. Sorry. <laughs> so yeah. So far, so good. I'm going to try a couple more recipes and...
Okay, so now we're now we're done. We're gonna do the taste test. Hmm, no does taste pizza. I don't like the tortilla though. That's not bad. Hey, you weren't recording that. <laughs> it just tastes like air. Why does it taste like that? It's rice milk, rice syrup, rice starch, rice flour, coconut, organic, maltodextrin, tartaric acid, curry. Hey, hey, hey! There's onions in that. You can't have that. Sea salt propellant. Package. Do you use 